So now I'm going to perform the infant cardiopulmonary resuscitation. So first we're going to assess. We're going to check for the patient's response for no breathing and or only grasping for 5 seconds or no more than 10 seconds. So now I'm going to tap the baby to attract attention. Baby, baby, are you okay? Baby, baby, are you okay? The baby is unresponsive. Somebody help me. So now I'm going to check for the patient's breathing by opening the airway and lifting the chin. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010. So there is no normal breathing. So now I'm going to send someone to activate the emergency response system. What happened? The baby is unresponsive and he has no normal breathing. I need you to activate the emergency response system and send me an AED as soon as possible, please. Copy. Okay. So now I'm going to check for the patient's pulse for no more than 10 seconds. So I'm going to check for the patient's pulse in the brachial artery rather than in the carotid artery since it will impede the patient's cir circulation. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010. Okay, so there is no pulse assessed. So now I'm going to perform the high quality CPR or compression. First is the correct compression by placing our fingers. Second is the adequate rate for at least 100 per minute and start CPR. Here we will be delivering 30 compressions. Third is for adequate depth. Delivers compression at least one-third depth of the chest or one and one-half inches or four centimeters. And fourth is to allow complete chest recoil at least 23 out of 30. And lastly, for the fifth step is to minimize interruptions. We will be giving two breaths with pocket mask in less than 10 seconds. So now I am going to perform five cycles of compressions and two rescue breath for each compression. So now starting compressions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. The patient is still unresponsive, so I'm going to proceed with the third cycle of compression. Resuming compressions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Still, the patient is unresponsive. So I'm going to proceed with the fifth cycle of compression. Resuming compressions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Are we now ready to switch roles? Yes, everybody clear? Clear. Shock advice. Shocking only 1, 2, 3. CPR, begin. During the fifth set of compression, second rescuer arrives with bag mask device and rescuer switch roles here. Both rescuers resume high quality CPR and the second rescuer will be giving 15 compressions in 9 seconds or less by using two thumb encircling hands technique for two cycles. 
So this produces higher coronary artery perfusion pressure and also results in more consistently an appropriate depth or force of compression. So if you cannot physically encircle the victim's chest, compress the chest within two fingers. So now after the second rescuer performs compression, me, the first rescuer, will be giving two rescue breaths using the bag mask for two cycles. Now for the second cycle, resuming compressions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty. So after two two cycles, from rescuer to switch roles. So now are you ready to switch roles again? Yes. Now, both rescuers will be resuming high-quality CPR and me, the first rescuer, will be performing 15 compressions in 9 seconds or less using thumb and circling hand techniques for 2 cycles. So now, starting compressions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now the second rescuer will successfully deliver two rescue breaths using the bag mask for two cycles. Now for the second cycle, resuming compressions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so that's it for the basic life support. I am Kate Marie Pika Numai. Thank you for watching.